Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to transfer your contact from the another Nokia to your Nokia E72. Well, transferring contacts, if you do it manually, is rather cumbersome. You have to connect to your phone to the Nokia PC suite, download your contacts from one phone, copy into another one, and if you're into that sort of thing, be it. But it's going to take you a lot of time. The easiest thing which Nokia has done is, it has given us a tool called Switch. Go to Control Panel. And you can see this switch over here. Just click on it. And it's going to give you all the details of the application. Okay, fine. It helps you transfer contacts, calendar, and calendar entries and other data between compatible Nokia phones. I have a Nokia 5800 with me, from which I have to transfer all my contacts onto my Nokia E72. So continue. Ask me to switch on the Bluetooth on the other phone. It's already on. So I click on continue. The phone, is, phone name is Nokia E721, no problem, okay. Turn on the Bluetooth on this one, yes. It's searching for devices. Okay, it found Nokia 5800. So stop, select, define passcode. Waiting, 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 the passcode will give it is 1. Okay, ask me over here, yes. Passcode is 1, okay. And the work of Nokia 5800 is done. So, it's out. Ask me what to sing. I want to sing my contacts. I want to sing the... Well, I can sing contact. I can sing calendar, text, MMS, notes, images, sound clips, video, bookmarks, recent calls, active notes, Nokia folder, landmarks. I just want the contacts and landmarks. Okay. It's receiving. Okay, while it's receiving, what you can do is that you can authorize your Nokia E72 on the Nokia 5800 or any other compatible phone which you are using. Go to the Bluetooth, go to Options, choose the phone set as Authorized. It's already authorized in this one, so I don't have to do it again. And it's connecting with the phone. You can see the small blue icon is connecting. Allow Sync, yes, and it's syncing. Okay, what have we do with it? Okay, see? Getting all the contacts. It's sending, it's receiving. It's quick. Much better than connecting your phone to your uh, laptop, connecting the wires, going through the PC suite, back up, then coming back to the phone, reinstall, uh, putting it back in the other phone back again, and downloading all your contacts and other stuff into it. Bluetooth rocks. And I have somewhere around 1300 contacts, so it's going to take a little time. All done with 374, 380, 390, 410, 440. Oh, it's fast. 500, 528. Go. 550. Going in the burst of about in 24-25 contacts per burst. Oh, the phone is going to the energy saving mode, blanking out the screen. But we are done with 700. Even if when the phone gets in the energy saving mode, turns off the screen, it's still working, it's still receiving. Okay, we're done with 800 contacts. Nine hundred. Eight. Thousand contacts. Thousand thirty-four. Thousand fifty. It's quick. It's about to end. 1200 contacts. Hello. 
13, 13, 13, okay, about 13, 40 something. Okay, 13, 50. Interesting. How many contacts do I have? Okay, I was wrong. About 1400. And counting. Fifteen hundred. Wow. Never thought I had that many contacts. Let me check under the phone how many do I have. I've already sent 1,600 contacts. Okay, now it's shipped to landmarks. 15 landmarks and it's done. Retrieval complete. I got 16, 15, and 15 contacts and 15 landmarks. Back. Save details of this transfer. A short of future transfers. Yes, and it's saved. Exit. And you can see I got all my contacts. Checking contacts. There are no contacts. And here they are. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. So the easiest way to shift your contact is through switch between the two phones.